Hello everyone and welcome. This will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Cancer for the week of June 9th. And a special thank you goes out to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and sharing with others. And for all the thumbs up on all the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, and your first card out, the Hermit. You're taking a little bit of time out for yourself, doing a little more searching into something that you want to get, take action on. But right now you're understanding that you're on the right path. The light's there, it's shining its way. You know, you, but you want to do a little more research on something so that when they, you get moving on it, it's what you anticipated it was going to be. Oh, and look at that, the magician, beautiful. Yeah, like I said, once you start to take action, it's like your creations become reality. So, you know, if this is your inner voice talking to you and saying, you know, maybe you should get going, you're focused enough in on the possibilities of not only the next step, but the outcome. So you're taking action and, and the universe is assisting you all the way here. You know, you're realizing your own potential and the opportunities are presenting themselves. So, you know, you're starting off with a whole new clear slate in many changes in your life this week. And you're, you know, seven of rods. So you're definitely standing your ground. You know, maybe you have a little bit of opposition from somebody or some, you know, people have their, their input, but you're standing solid on your decision because it's taken you a while to get here. It's not like it's been handed to you and, you know, but you're going forward, you're in control of this and you're maintaining your own beliefs. And the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's, you know, you're not afraid of hard work. You're understanding that sometimes things go a little bit slower than what you want them to, but in the end, they will give you what you want. So you're putting in the hard work right now. You know, you're very skilled. You're very uh, determined to succeed. So if there's something that you want a little more knowledge on or understanding, you're putting in the labor and the hard work to succeed. But it's something that you want. So it's not um, hard to do because you're curious to get going. And the Ace of Cups, look at that. Love, compassion. Oh, I like this one. Creativity. You know, the new feeling that things are starting to flow the way you want them to, the way that you had dreamed and envisioned. You know, this is something that um, speaks to your heart and it, and it opens you up. And, and the more that you're willing to put effort in, the universe is like going... You know, yeah, and it's got your back and it's helping you just move those mountains without much effort whatsoever. And the King of Cups. Yeah. You're emotionally in balance. You're understanding that, you know, you're using your head over your heart. You're doing this because you have a vision for the future and you're willing to put the hard work in in all areas of your life because that's who you are you know you're motivated to resolving problems you just want your life to be more harmonious you know and you've got to do what you got to do to succeed at it but if it's not working you're either going to take a good hard look at why or realize that maybe things need to change a little bit for your own perspective and the star card. Yeah, you have hopes for sure. And you have faith in yourself, which I really like to see. And this is like your new renewed um, second look at something. You know, maybe you've, like I said, been putting a lot of time and energy into something and it's not quite giving you back what you were hoping. But you're believing that this time, as you put, you know, 
more energy and this maybe you have changed your perspective and your direction once you start to believe in that this can get going and take flight that it does and it finishes the way that you want it to so the more effort and energy that you're putting into this and pouring into it the universe is helping you like you are the star people are starting to notice you you know not that you have not been noticed before but they're realizing your your goals they can see what you're, you've envisioned for yourself. And the Three of Cups. Look at that. Celebration. Friendships. Harmony. You know, this may be a get-together or an invitation to go somewhere. Maybe a graduation. Uh, a birthday party. Just a get-together for the weekend. But you're not quite sure whether you want to go or not. But you will. And when you do, you'll be quite happy that you not only accepted the invitation, but you fit in and you feel welcome as well. So you're quite happy and content to accept this in your life. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you've had some disappointments and you're realizing that you literally have to let something go. Because you're making a withdrawal here. You've put your time, effort, you know, in some cases money. But you have to walk away. It's time for you to go in a different direction that is going to feel and feed your soul. So you're leaving something behind this week. And it's not easy because you've put, like I said, a lot of energy into this. Now this could be a relationship, a home, a marriage, um, a job. You know, but you're realizing that it's not going to give you what it is that you're looking for, so you're willing to cut it loose. And the Nine of Pentacles, so you're enjoying your own fruits of your own labor. You're rewarding yourself. You're understanding that if you want luxury in your life, you have to put time and energy into it. In order to accomplish it and that's what you're doing this week you keep you keeping to yourself just a little bit more you know because you're quite independent you can take care of yourself you know you have your own income coming in and you're more independent this week you're just okay with going solo a little bit you know you don't always need people around you all the time in order for you to enjoy the day and that's where you're at this week. You're just feeling content within your own skin. And the Four of Rods. Yeah, celebration, joy, harmony. You know, if this is a relationship or a marriage, it's harmonious. If it's, you know, and a, and a relationship can be friendships, family, many dynamic, you know. But you feel like you fit in. You've come home. You know, the community that you surround your, yourself with, you feel at ease with. You can be yourself. So, that you know, this celebration is a celebration of the life that you want. And the Five of Cups, yeah. There's been a little bit of regret, a little bit of failure, some disappointments. But that's life, and you know that. You know, you're, you're sort of looking it over a little, probably a little bit more than you should be. But you're also realizing that, okay, I didn't succeed at that or I didn't get that. And, you know, the whole world didn't fall apart and that as well. So you're learning to breathe a little bit more for yourself and let it go. It's a learning curve. You know, you'll turn around, you'll pick up the other cups, you'll go over the bridge here and start again. And that's part of life's process and you're understanding that as well. But you won't forget what you've learned. You're just making it turn the way that will help you in the future. Yeah, and the moon card. Look at that. You're definitely your dreams are to go on that path. You know, you're feeling inspired. Yes, there's a little bit of fear and anxiety, but that's to be expected as well. But you're not allowing uh, life's distractions to get in the way anymore. You've already made up your mind that it's time and that's what you're doing because you have a vision for yourself and you will succeed at it. 
and nobody or nothing's going to change you from it this time. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle card, but yours are all about movement for the future and, you know, celebrating life, enjoying yourself a little bit more. Okay, what do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. All right, and I'm going to pull you one fairy oracle card. Unfounded fear. Focusing on worst case scenarios allows worry to grow out of potential to the problem. So don't worry yourself. Don't allow yourself that. All right. On that note, I am going to say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.